Mills Young here, part of Pig Dogs, and it's a wonderful Monday. And what are we doing? We're shopping, shopping for player props. I'm going to be looking at the NFL game that's going on tonight. Then I'm going to be sliding on over to the MLB. Stay tuned. I got five pitcher props to get you guys on top, and I'm going to be going over the best bets, and I'm going to be referencing them with the Sports Chat Plays Betting Tours. So look, after you guys are done watching this video, head on over to the Sports Chat Plays Betting Tours and see exactly What's your guys' best bet? What's your guys' player props? Because, man, they got everything lined up for you guys, okay? Now, look, over here, yesterday on the prop shop, man, we got beat up, man. Like, what, what was going on? But the whole NFL got beat up yesterday. I mean, come on, man. Let's talk about it. I mean, upset, upset, and upset alert. The Vikings beat the out the 49ers. I mean, the Ravens showed up and lost to the Raiders. I mean, so many letdown spots in, in yesterday's games, but hey, that was yesterday. It's all about today, so let me know exactly what your guys' best bet. What are you guys betting on? And hey, man, what's your guys' best two-team parlay to win? And hey, who's your touchdown prop? I want everybody to give me a touchdown prop. If you're watching this video, which I know you are, give me your player that you think is going to score a touchdown. Man, I, I wonder if somebody's going to have like a random one, like a... Ray J. McLeod or something like that for like plus 700 or something. I, I, who knows, man? That's why we're here, man. It's all gambling. You know, you can't predict them all the time. But, hey, let's go ahead and get it started, man. The first thing that we're shopping for on today's shopping list, man, I'm starting it off with one Russian prop for the day. And that's going to be Saquon Barkley. We really like him in this spot, man. That's the running back that the Eagles needed because Jalen Hurts was taking that load on for him as the running back, as the season was going, you know. But in this spot, man, his rushing props at 77 yards. He was able to go over that woo by among his numbers, man. I'm talking about, man, he went for like over 100 yards in his first game. In this game, I like him to go over 77 rushing yards. That's player prop number one. Player prop number two. All right, man, let's go ahead and get it started. Atlanta Falcons, I'm going to be looking at the B. John Robinson uh, running back. You already know. I'm taking him over four and a half receptions in here. He's been one of those running backs that's like a Christian McCaffrey to where he's always going to catch it out the backfield because that's where he's more explosive with. Also, too, um, the wide receivers for the Atlanta Falcons always rely on the running backs, even from back in the day from when we used to have work done. So this is something, a trend that, you know, when we get a good running back that we can use like that in that spot, we will. And we are. So I'm taking Bijan. Over four and a half receptions in this spot. Player prop number three. We're going to be looking at Saquon Barkley once again. I'm taking him over two and a half receptions in this spot. Um, No Antonio Brown. Even if Antonio Brown was there. Jalen Hurts is not a guy that's going to be throwing the ball 35 to 40 yards down the field every single time. He's a check down guy. So if you're open, up and down the field real quick and he can get it down to you, that's what he's going to do. So that's why his tight ends usually get a lot of uh, targets and his running backs. So I really like Saquon Barkley to get over two and a half receptions. He's been one of those running backs ever since he got drafted to the New York Giants too, catching it out the backfield, being explosive. I really think, man, to be honest, man, I think Saquon Barkley over two and a half receptions is a gift. Um, I'm, I'm being honest with you guys, man. Um, that's probably one to where I'm really, uh, you know, I put all my coins on all these props, but this is the one that I'm putting some bigger ones on, man, because I really think it's going to go through and hit for us. Next player prop that I like, I like Devontae Smith over five and a half receptions. Wide receiver for the Philadelphia Eagles. Man, this has been one of the guys I liked ever since Alabama. And ever since he got drafted by a man, I'm going to be honest, man. He's he's one, of my, he's one of my guys, man. I think he's one of the best route runners in the game. I compare him to like a Chris Carter and stuff. And with no Antonio Brown, trust me, y'all about to see a real number one receiver out there because he is a number one receiver. I actually think he's going to go for like eight or nine yards today and 130 yards and a touchdown. So I'm just taking him over five and a half receptions in this spot. All right, next player prop that I like, going back to my Atlanta Falcons, man. He didn't show up in week one, but I think he's going to show up today. And that's Drake London, man. I'm taking him over four and a half receptions. He's the number one target, number one wide receiver for the Atlanta Falcons, man. And he has to get that chemistry going with Kirk Cousins. Next receiver prop that I like, I got to go with Kyle Pitts over three and a half receptions. He got in the end zone last game out. He only had like three receptions, I want to say. But this is the thing, too. When you pay a quarterback 180 mil, 
you got to go out there and and see these pieces that we got. I'll be honest, man. This looks like the same damn Atlanta Falcons with the Mariota, with the Desmond Riddler, with everybody, man. Like, no, we need to see 260 passing yards per game. And really, we need to see 300 and some passing yards per game with these targets. So with that being said, Kirk Cousins. He always had a good chemistry with tight ends, even back to the Washington days, uh, uh, Reed over there. And then even, you know, uh, recently over there at Minnesota Vikings with Hutchinson and stuff. So if he has a good tight end that he can dump off to and he can go vertical, I think he's going to be a target in this game. I like how it to go up with three and a half receptions. All right. I got three touchdown props to get you on top. We're rolling out Saquon Barkley to get a touchdown. I like him to get two touchdowns, so sprinkle on that. I like B. John Robinson to get a touchdown, and I like Jalen Hurst to get a touchdown. All right, let's slide on over to the MLB. The prop shop is hot. I like Yoshi Yamamoto over four and a half uh, strikeouts for the Dodgers. He's been able to hit this at an 80% clip, taking on my Atlanta Braves. I like Max Fried over five and a half uh, strikeouts, taking on my Dodgers. Oh, damn, I'm so backwards right now. See what I mean? My Atlanta Braves are taking on the Los Angeles Dodgers. I like Max Reed over five and a half Ks, man. He's been able to hit this at an 80% clip. All right, man. Let's go ahead and take Max Reed over five and a half. In this spot, they got Paul Skeens on the mound. His strikeout props at six and a half, and he's playing the St. Louis Cardinals. I got to go with him on the over on this one. The bad two is like the under. I like the over. And my last two. I like Shadi Amunga for the Chicago Cubs to go over six strikeouts. And uh, he had six or more strikeouts in three of his last five games. My last one is going to be you Darvish. I like him to go over four and a half strikeouts, hitting at an 80% clip. It's time for the recap, Tom. We like Barkley over 77 yards. We like Bijan over four and a half receptions. Barkley over two and a half. Smith over five and a half. London over four and a half. Pitts over three and a half. Anytime touchdown. Saquon Barkley. Double up, take him plus two. Bijan Robinson, anytime touchdown. Jalen Hurts, anytime touchdown. We're taking Yamamoto over four and a half. Freed over five and a half. Skeens over six and a half. Imung over six. Darvish over four and a half. Mills Young here, part of Pick Dogs. We can't roll with the Pick Dogs down the porch.